Dios o no. So you believe that if someone has done modifications to their body, they are not going to happen. Pues, pudiera. Sí. Ahora sí que sí hay infierno. Vale. We need to chat. We need to debrief. That was heavy. A friend showed me pictures of something called the Black Alien Project. Man turns himself into Black Alien. Frenchman Anthony Lofredo had his nose, both ears and two fingers amputated to achieve his dream look. Not to mention his face and arm implants, green forked tongue, inked eyeballs, body covered in tattoos, and he still wants to remove a leg. Wow, comment. Horrible, horrible, no words. There is this picture where they are in the middle of a procedure and I reckon they're amputating his fingers. These are not doctors. Who are they? This is illegal. Is it illegal? And he was around my age when he started this transformation. I am an open-minded guy, but I couldn't understand why someone would want to look like that. I needed to know more about him and understand why he's doing that to himself. I am human, but people think I'm just crazy. Maybe I am the one going crazy, but after tracking him down through a tattoo shop Is a Calypso tattoo piercing and body modification uh, shop? And a lot of elusive message. Finally, sí, me interesa, pero yo vivo en México. No sé. He agreed to meet me if only I flew to Mexico. Just got a message from Anthony. So I asked him if I could call him. And he said, send me an audio message. I have stuff to do. I actually get nervous. <laughs> it's just that I know that I have one shot with him. Hola Anthony, ¿qué tal? Bueno, solo para te explicar que todo va bien con nosotros. Llegamos a México uh, mañana por la noche. How does it feel to wake up at 2 a.m. for Anthony? I'm, I'm a bit frightened to meet this guy. Thank you for coming, honestly. Hey, I'm excited. Yesterday at 11 o'clock, he says, I arrive Thursday in Guadalajara. We start Friday. First of all, I didn't even know that he was not in Guadalajara. So I was like, Anthony, why do you only tell me this now? And then he basically says, Tranquilo, vamos a darle con todo sin miedo. Welcome to Guadalajara. Somewhere here there is an alien. Let me just mention I really like your style. Uh, your style. So <laughs> it's the perfect outfit for Mexico, I have to say. It's a northern English style. <laughs> of course. Anyway, today's a big day. Hopefully, we're finally meeting Anthony. A las once en el Parque Rojo. He always wants to be in control. He is the one telling me where we're going to meet, at what time we're going to meet. So I'm, I'm trying here to think what I'm going to say when I meet him for the first time. Like, what, what am I going to ask? I have so many questions and uh, I don't know exactly what am I supposed to say straight away. Okay, let's go. I actually feel very nervous. You're looking very nervous. Hey, I, I, I think I see Anthony. That's our guy, he's there. Anthony! Hey! Que tal? Look at you. Para mí es un poco surreal esto todo. Imagina que nosotros estamos leyendo sobre ti. Se crea un personaje de Black Hill, ¿sabes? Sí. Hay momentos que creo que la mayoría de la gente se olvida que es una persona. Mm -hmm. Sí. Y entonces nosotros empezamos, quizá es un personaje y él está jugando con nosotros haciendo el Black Alien, que es misterioso, pero no, es más simple que esto. Somos humanos. ¿Eres humano? Sí, yo soy humano. Tú me cortas, mi sangre está rojo. Pero mi pensamiento es, pa... es diferente, como todos somos diferentes. ¿Tú querías conocerme? Yo, yo no me interesa a las personas. Yo soy solo desde pequeño. Me encanta ser solo. Entonces siempre fuiste un alien. 
Incluso cuando no era físicamente sí, un siempre. alien. Siempre, desde pequeño, me sentí diferente. Es una palabra para eso, alienación. This is us filming and everybody is stopping in the sea. Uh, it's no surprise that people stop and stare. But if I really want to get to know Anthony and understand his project, we need to move somewhere quiet. Wow. Este eres tú antes de tu transformación. Sí. Este Anthony, ¿cómo estaba aquí? ¿Feliz o no? Sí. Feliz, pero no en, mi, no en el bueno cuerpo. But you were a very good-looking guy, like, before your uh, Very sexy guy. So why did it change? Pero soy lo mismo, del corazón. Ya estabas fuerte aquí. Sí. I thought that this person here was not happy. But it's not my body. My body, they, they really. Vale, entonces aquí, esta persona no estaba contenta. Al fondo no. Even after many procedures, so many he has lost count, Anthony says his transformation is only 46% complete. He then took me to the place where he lives, and to my surprise, he lives in a hotel. He's looking for his keys. <laughs> and, as like, honestly, he has so many stuff. Show me your passport, please. Can I have a look at it? Yeah. No, hay problema de hacer documentos oficiales. Eso, no. Pero mi tarjeta de identidad hace probablemente un mes te la da, pero yo un año me la da. Oh, wow. La policía cree que estoy un hombre que buscaba, pero que yo me hace todo eso para, para disimular todo eso. Wow, esto es de peli. Wow, Anthony. Qué loco. Super loco. <laughs> So have you spoken to your mom today? Because you said you text her every single day. Sí, me acabo de hablar con ella. ¿Puedo mirar qué le has escrito? Mucho corazón, mucho corazón. Mucho corazón. Is this a picture of your mom? Ah, ¿y esto es tu papá? Sí. You start your transformation without telling your parents. ¿Y cómo fue la primera vez que estuviste con ellos? Me fue a su, a su casa un día de Navidad. Los 15 primeros minutos un poco. Mira un poco raro, pero bien. Después. Sí, todo bien. ¿Qué crees que se ha pasado en su cabeza, en la cabeza de tu madre y tu padre? Sí, puede ser, se queda triste un poco. Sí. Pero mi, siempre mi mamá en este pequeño me deja hacer... Lo que querías. No lo que qu quiero todo, pero me deja más libre. ¿Se ha pasado algo con tu padre? Sí, se, se murió, terminó el cáncer. ¿Era una persona cercana de ti, tu sí, padre? Sí, yo lo veo como, como un guerrero. Si pudieras volver atrás, ¿te quedarías más tiempo con tu padre, hablar con sí, él? Sí, sí, ahí pinto eso. ¿Te arrepientes de eso? Mm, porque cuando él se enferme, mm, yo estaba lejos. Sí, es un poco... Mm, yo le pinto mucho eso. Anthony traveled the world in search of people and places that would let him do this to his body. But who are these people? You did a transformation to Anthony, right? Mm -hmm. What was Little it? Bits. He called me and one finger cut the gato, uh, Moreno, and the one finger is my work. Oh, wait. Uh... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> real life, this is real life, man. You're not a doctor, right? No. You don't have any kind of medical studies, official, official medical. No. Official, official. No. Body modification is not real legal in every country of the world. Body modification is Finnish in the UK. What, what do you mean Finnish? You cannot do body modification no, in the UK. Uh, you have uh, shares for uh, body artists in the UK. You have Dr. Evil. Evil. Jail for performing ear and nipple removals. More boobs, more lips is okay, no problem, don't care. If you want to cut your penis for uh, one vagina, no problem, is okay. But now, if you want to cut your finger, oh, you're fucking crazy, you have a little problem in your hand. This is not normal, bro. Body modification is the solution Anthony has found to express his true self. But I can't escape the comments I've seen online and the way people react to him. How does he manage to walk the streets? 
Pues con tu traje paje. <risa> Esto es muy bonito, Anthony. Es una fusión de los dos. No, no, este no. ¿Tú crees en Dios o no? Nuestro cuerpo es casa del Espíritu Santo. Pero si nosotros manejamos la casa de Dios, pues Él no está contento. Eres libre, pero estemos a conciencia de que el día que moramos, ¿a dónde vamos a ir? ¿Con Dios? ¿Con Satanás? So you believe that if someone has done modifications to their body, they are not going to happen? Pues, pudiera. Sí. Ahora sí que sí hay infierno. Vale, gracias. We need to chat. We need to debrief. That was heavy. ¿Qué tal? Bien. Yeah. Um, I mean, uh, ¿Y usted sabe? Sí, me siento un poco raro. Me siento raro. Ah, tú te sientes raro entonces. Ya Pero esta es persona muy extrema. I don't know. This actually really affected me. Esto me, me ha caído muy mal. Sí. Sí. Anthony is public property. Everybody stares, they take pictures, and everybody has an opinion about him, but he has no control over what they do with them. The internet is full of horrible and abusive comments about him. Me iba en un restaurante, yo comí, la pareja que estaba frente se cambia de, 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 de lugar, mesa. ¿sí? Why should he have to put up with this abuse just because of the way he wants to look? Anthony is indeed responsible for his media exposure, but I've come to realize he's also doing that to find his community and help people understand him. Some of my family are very religious. And after what happened on the street, I wonder what my grandma's thoughts about Anthony's transformation would be. She's always busy. Oi, vó. Oi. Oi, vó. Tudo bem? O Arthur aqui. Como é que tá? Tudo bem, Arthurzinho? <laughs> Arthurzinho. But how does my grandma react to her little Arthur flying around the world to meet an alien? Edo. Eu sei, vó. Eu também fiquei meio chocado quando eu vi pela primeira vez. Ele não se identifica com o corpo dele. A gente estava na rua e uma mulher, uma senhora católica, veio conversar com a gente. E, e ela disse que uma pessoa que faz isso com o corpo vai para o inferno. O que você acha disso tudo? Mas ele não está fazendo por gosto. Eu entendo que alguém pode só ficar chocado, eu entendo que é a religião dela e a crença dela, mas é, ela machucou um amigo meu e eu tentei defendê-lo. Sabe o que, que é isso, Arthur? É fanatismo. É fanatismo. Tem gente que é assim e pronto, vai fazer o quê? Não. Eu sou católica, eu sigo a minha religião, siga a sua. Sim. Você faz. Vó, tem que ir, tem que ir, te amo muito, tá? Obrigado, obrigado. Deus te abençoe. Tchau, tchau. 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 I'm proud of her now, and I'm proud of being part of my family now. I wasn't expecting this answer. It, it's actually, um, this is a journey where I'm getting to know Anthony, but I'm getting to know a bit more about myself and about my family and my friends. Uh, it's very powerful. What are we going to do in the gym today? A little bit of everything. A little bit of everything? Going to the gym is a key part of Anthony's transformation. He says it prepares him physically for future procedures. Vale, eres mejor que yo, sí. ¿Cómo te ves en el futuro? ¿Te gustaría de tener hijos? No. Nunca. ¿Te preocupa el futuro? No. Yo vivo en el presente. ¿Y qué te preocupa ahora? Nada. Nada. 
No tienes ninguna preocupación de tu vida. Nada, cero. I wish I was a bit Anthony. Me encantaría ser un poco como tú. En serio. I never imagined there would be ways I'd want to be like the black alien. He has interesting stories and thoughts to share, and rather than focusing on his looks, quite quickly I've connected to him as a person. I really didn't expect we would start to become friends, but one thing I still don't understand is how he copes with the fame and attention that comes from his looks. I'm not used to this attention. Yeah, no, 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 no me gusta, pero es así. Me explicas que te gusta estar solo sí. y has hecho un proyecto sí. que la consecuencia sí. es lo opuesto. La gente te va a querer sacar fotos contigo, sí. te va a mirar. ¿Cómo sí. reaccionas a esto? Es duro, pero yo lo acepto. I'm running away because he's a celebrity and everybody wants to take pictures with him. Uh, this is insane. He's really famous for yeah. the transformation. Oli, we're in Guadalajara, passing the park, and we're going to meet with Anthony. What have you asked? Tell me. If he has tattoos, they're intimate. Are you going to respond to this or not? Yes. Yes? And how are you? Yes, I have it. Yes, I have it. Eso se llama besote. Besote. Si es mexicana. Ajá. Esos son los mayas. Ah. Que los tiene. Ay, ¿por qué tu lengua? ¿Por qué está verde? Tatuaje, tinta. ¿Es tatuaje? Sí. ¿Es la pobre? ¿Crees que Anton es sexy? Sí. Sí. Sí, pero ¿te atrae o no? No, dime de verdad. ¿Qué quieres decir? Sí, atractivo. Tenemos que comprar unas gafas para ti. Hace mucho sol aquí en México. Sí, lo tengo. Bueno, tenés que traerlas. Quiero mirar tu estilo. Ah, ah. Ah, ¡Holo, qué estilo! Luego, así que... <risa> ¡Mira este estilo! <risa> ¿Do you see Anthony as an art piece? I think it's, um, it's art, art people walking. Represent all piercing modification tattoo culture. When we were in the car, he was touching his implants. No, 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 don't do it. Don't do it. Como está tu vida amorosa? Sí, tengo una amiga. Ah, sí, la de México. Ah, that's why you missed the flight. Sí, sí. Oh my God, he. Just got caught. He missed his smile because he was. Oh, mira, he's smiling. He is in love. Anthony is used to being the center of attention. So as I take him along to one of Mexico's most famous festivals, I wonder how he'll feel when, for once, the crowd aren't there for him. Oh my gosh, we're already calling attention. Me encanta que los niños siempre quieren hablar contigo. Día de los Muertos, Day of the Dead, donde los muertos son muy vivos. For the first time, we are in a situation where the black alien is not the center of the attention. Anthony, if there is something that you would like us to take with us, what would it be? Hay mucha persona que no que no quiere entender que se abre un poco más el mente porque somos todos diferentes con un pensamiento diferente, un cerebro diferente, con gusto diferente. Entonces no pasa nada si tú no entiendes, pero de respetar al menos cada persona de su propio vida está bien. Sí, esto es importantísimo para vivir en armonía sí. y todos felices, ¿no? Así es. Y en paz. Bueno, un abrazo. Ah. Bueno, cuídate, ¿sí? Cuídate. No vas a llorar, ¿no? Sí, te eh. mucho. Adiós. Adiós.
I feel like I know Anthony for a long, long time. It was very intense. Anthony became another friend of mine that is spread in this world. I came here knowing how negative people were towards Anthony. With this journey, I got so much more than I expected. I got to know the wonderful person Anthony is, the struggles he goes through to feel comfortable in his own self. He just wants people to have less preconceptions about how others should live, and maybe the world would be a better place. He just wants uh, to live a normal life, the most normal life he can get as an alien in this world. Because at the end of the day, I've learned something with him. We're all aliens in this planet. We're all aliens in this universe. We're all the same.